all the way across the world very soon. And that I'm liquidating my life. of it my beautiful friends that is the most energy <laughs> wow i uh, pms is hitting me so hard over the last two days i am exhausted and i mean like you know that feeling of like wanting to do everything going after everything doing everything because you want to see the people, you want to hang out with the people, you want to do the acti activities, you want to live your life, but then you don't have any time for yourself, which then makes you tired, which then gives you PMS, which then <laughs> leads you down a drain of complete exhaustion and your room looking like this. Okay, I'm so glad we're on the same page here. I have, I have news, by the way, I, okay. First things first. Matcha. I really wish the lighting in this kitchen was better. Wow, oh my God. Ugh, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I wanna make everything aesthetically pleasing for you, but sometimes that's just not life. Although, I might be somewhere hot all the way across the world very soon. Can you guess where? Ah! Oh, and it's not a mite. I'm going. Okay, I completely forgot that I had a woman picking up some dishes that I thought were in my trunk, but were actually in my storage unit. So let's do a quick run to my storage unit and grab these things so I'm not making this woman wait any longer. Luckily she had a chore to do before, so she's not upset with me, but okay. The amount of times that I have to click that little thing is hilarious. It's a too matcha before breakfast type of day. That's the vibe. I feel like I'm still running off the energy from the first matcha, but why only have energy from one matcha when you can have energy from two? <laughs> flash of vanilla, drizzled maple syrup, give that a little stirry stir, flash of milk. <laughs> I'm in much need of some breakfast though. So let's make a bowl of quinoa and greens and cilantro and pickled red onions and maybe, maybe I'm gonna fry up some tofu. Let's just see where this meal takes us. But I want something well-rounded, a big bowl of savory yumminess, you know? We're gonna chop up one red onion into thick-ish half moon slices. I personally love still like a nice crunch to my pickled red onions, so that's why I'm cutting them fairly thick, maybe a quarter of an inch. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of water, good pinch of salt, tablespoon sugar, pinch of chili flakes. 
Give that a stir. Stuff the red onions into a jar. Shove the rest in a bowl. I forgot that I wanted to put some garlic in it, so let's chop and mince a few cloves of garlic. Throw the garlic into the vinegar mixture. Pour the vinegar mixture into the jar and into the bowl. Top it up with some hot water. Maybe a splash more vinegar, because I miscalculated. One cup of quinoa. Two cups of water. Let that do its thing. I do recommend rinsing your quinoa because it will remove a lot of the bitterness that it has, but I just don't have a fine mesh strainer to do that myself. So unfortunately, I just had to chuck it in the pot today. Slice up some tofu. I'm using medium firm because that's all the grocery store had, unfortunately, but I would recommend using firm or even extra firm for this recipe. And chop up some cucumber. Rinse and pat dry some spinach. All right. Set that aside. Get some olive oil into a pan. Get your tofu in there. Season with salt. Chop up some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can opt it for another herb or just don't use any herb at all. Add a sprig of rosemary. Black pepper. Let's make a simple sauce using some garlic hummus, onion powder, black pepper, pinch of salt, drizzle of agave, and a dash of cayenne. Thin it out with some water. Mix that all together. And so now that I got all of the elements done, let's throw it all in a bowl and enjoy. Our greens, quinoa, our tofu, cucumber, throw our sauce down, our red onion, sprinkle of cilantro, some sesame seeds, and some pumpkin seeds. I'm interrupting this video as you can probably tell <laughs> because I have to tell you about matcha.com they are a longtime sponsor of the channel and I'm grateful to have them sponsoring another video they have a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale going on right now until the end of November November 30th that's when the sale ends that's when you're cut off not actually, but you're cut off from the sales, you're cut off from the deals. And if you're a Matcha Prime member, then you get even better deals, okay? So sign up, become a member, get yourself, get your friends, get your family something amazing for Christmas. So a little bit about them. They're truly my favorite matcha in the entire world. It's the best matcha I've ever tasted. And I just want to put it out there. Matcha should not be insanely bitter or dull in color or taste fishy. And if it does, you are drinking gross matcha. Stop it. Just stop it. Think of it as if it were coffee. We've all had some crappy coffee in our lives. Has that ruined coffee in general for you? Probably not. So why blame all matcha for being gross if you've just had the lowest quality matcha? Don't do that, okay? Don't ruin it. Matcha.com cares about their quality of matcha, so much so that they harvest their matcha from Japanese farms that still use ancient traditions. That's incredible. Head to matcha.com, click the link down in my description box to get amazing Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. Thank you so much to matcha.com for sponsoring today's video, giving me this energy that I have right now and being amazing. <laughs> okay, but for real, I love their matcha so much, and I hope you do too. <laughs> My lovely housemate bought me a donut. Ah! I asked her to buy me a donut because I'm giving her a bunch of candles. <laughs> but it's a vegan ca caramel apple. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 
Oh yeah, we're having a moment here. Places that do a vegan donut. That's like actually a donut. This room makes everything look green, but. Okay. We're gonna save the rest for later as a reward because I'm with you. Okay, we gotta be productive today. We need to run some errands. We need to drop something off at a friend's house. I'm selling my Vitamix blender, which has been my pride and joy for the last like two and a half, three years. And I don't want it to sit in my storage unit and rot for like a year. Yes, I am going on an adventure, my friends. I am just, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna see where life takes me because I'm feeling very inspired with the world and learning and seeing new things and experiencing more. And I do feel really settled in this decision and settled in staying in places for longer, even just coming back to where I was living before for an entire month and organizing my stuff and working, staying in the same place for one month, like the same room, the same house has given me so much peace. So that is how I'm going to travel on this next leg of adventure and I don't know, see where life takes me. With all that being said, we gotta do something with this. Okay, one more bite of donut before we go. Why is it so good? I'm impulsively changing the sheets on this bed because they were ugly. <laughs> Luckily, we have some pretty ones in the storage unit. More green to add to the greenness. I'm finishing the donut. What? Why did? It, why am I waiting? So somebody recently said that I'm liquidating my life and I would like to concur with that statement. So I'm selling this nice puffy jacket that I wore last year. I love this thing. It's so freaking warm. It's 700 down, I guess. I'm not sure how, what, I don't know. It says 700 on it. And yeah, like I'm legitimately getting rid of most of my stuff. So we're posting this on my marketplace right now. Super easy, just attach some photos, upload, title, pick the category, pick the condition, used, good. She's not new, but she's clean and warm. Size, medium. Kinda let the pictures speak for themselves, publish, active. All right, let's go do that like 20 more times in the storage unit. <laughs> Goodbye, Blender. I'm gonna miss you a lot. <laughs> and so we meet again. To get this task done, we need the right music. And the growlers make me feel like I'm getting a philosophy lesson. They make me feel groovy. They make me want to dance. They make me feel productive, calm. Like literally all of the feelings the growlers give me. And if you have not listened to them, I highly recommend listening to their Chinese Fountain album. Here's what it looks like. And Play. Last year, 
just over a year ago. I was writing in this journal about moving to BC. And now I'm going on another adventure. I wonder if I wrote journal prompt on this day one year ago. Okay, here's the prompt. What if love is not just an emotion, but a feeling? It's something that you can feel non-directed at anyone or anything, much like you feel happy, sad, anxious, etc. You can just feel love inside of you. This blissful, warm, welcoming, gentle, graceful, beautiful feeling in your heart and head that starts soft and the more you notice and feel into it, the more it flows within your whole body from your fingers to your toes. Love. Well, isn't that sweet, Julia? <laughs> I really like the color red. New discovery about myself. <laughs> red tattoos are sick and super pretty. <laughs> Okay, I mean there's some really deep things in here that I'm not going to dive into or publicize but keeping your old journals is just way too sentimental and I cannot get rid of things like this. That was a very productive afternoon and I'm so glad that I killed this day because with such a short period of time before I leave, I gotta have these days. I gotta get stuff done to, yeah, just relieve that stress because I have no idea when I'm coming home. Like that's the goal. I'm just going, I'm gonna release to the flow of life, allow life to take me because I feel like sometimes I have such a resistance towards it and I just want to get better and better at allowing myself to ease into everything. So that's the challenge. And I'm super grateful that I have the opportunity to do this. Anyways, I need food. I did not get out of bed. Why am I red? I did not get out of bed until like 10 today. So we didn't eat breakfast until noon and now it's after 5 p.m. and I have not had lunch yet. So let's make a little something something. I'm thinking a pepper tofu pe stir fry thing. It's gonna be good. Dice half of the cooking onion in large-ish chunks. Microplane about an inch of ginger. And three cloves of garlic. Chop half of a block of tofu into bite-sized cubes. Add olive oil to a non-stick pot. Throw the tofu in there and allow it to brown on all sides using tongs or chopsticks to flip them over. Core, de-seed, and chop half of the green pepper into chunks. For the sauce, we're going to combine soy sauce, rice vinegar, black pepper, maple syrup, add half of a bouillon cube into a jar with some hot water, mix together. The stock is also part of the sauce, so mix that together. Once the tofu is done, transfer that onto a plate. One and a half teaspoons of tapioca starch. Yeah! Add the minced ginger and garlic. Splash of the sauce. Cover with a lid. Shake it off! Aww. Aww. Mommy Julia, yeah, so cute. Too, you're so pretty. No, you so pretty. No, you're so no, pretty. You. Can you say yeah to this one? Yeah, that one's good. This one? Bangle spice tea, please. Bangle spice. Bangle spice. Add a small handful of dried shiitake mushrooms and the rest of the sauce. Cover that with a lid and let it do its thing for about five to eight minutes. In the meantime, 
Drink some Bengal spice tea. <laughs> I'm so good about coming to this Tofu. Mixing mix. Serve the mixture up with some rice and sprinkle some spring onion on top, along with some sesame seeds as well. I don't want to toot my own horn, but this looks so good. This recipe is inspired by one that I saw on Pinterest and I'll link that one down below. I made some minor adjustments to it, but this is really good. I highly recommend. Mm. And the pepper actually makes it super spicy. <laughs> like this is so spicy right now. <laughs> I think those two matchas kept me going until like 25 minutes ago. I have crashed and I have crashed hard. I'm just gonna have a shower, do some stretching and go right to sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So grateful that you're here. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your damn day and I'm sending you so much love. Mwah!